memoria de Franco. Hello everyone, this is Alchemir the Analyst, and today I'll be talking NFL updates and what I've been seeing in the media. This is Alchemir the Analyst. Alright, so I want to go over the first thing I've seen is Marcus Mariota. He's getting interest from the Washington football team. You know, how I feel about Marcus Mariota is that first round was second pick by Tennessee Titans. He had a good second year with them. He went for 3,426 yards, 26 touchdowns, nine picks. But since then, downhill, 2017, 3,232 yards, 13 touchdowns, 15 picks. 2018, 2,528 yards, 11 touchdowns, 8 picks. So he just been trending downwards and downwards. Eventually, Tennessee Titans went to go get Ryan Tannehill. He goes to Las Vegas. And, you know, um, to me, he just been going downhill from there. But... Washington, they want seven and nine. I believe they have Marcus Mariota. They probably go nine and seven. They just needed something from the quarterback position. They literally used all their quarterbacks to Alex Smith, to um, Dang, um, Dwayne Haskins, um, what Hennigy. They they used a lot of quarterbacks, man. And I think Marcus Mariota, he at least get them two extra wins. Which they will still win the NFC East with two extra wins. So, I mean, hey, I think it's a win-win for both teams. But Washington definitely needs a bona fide quarterback, not like a supplementary, I want to say, quarterback. So, I mean, I believe it's a win-win for both sides. Also, I want to talk about a um, guy I really didn't want to talk about, Carson Wentz and Ertz. Uh, both are being packaged. I hearing that they getting they in trade talks with the Colts. Um, I heard Ertz is in trade talks with um the Seattle Seahawks. I mean, at this point, I'm just ready for this to be over. At this point of time, the Ertz thing, the Wentz thing, is just a bit distraction. I just want to know who's going to be on the Eagles, 2021. That's all I want to know. Um, I believe Jalen Hurts will be here. Um, Carson Wentz is iffy. Ertz, he definitely won out because Howie Roseman screwed him over. But he is old. He is older himself. Then plus we got Dallas Goddard. We might get a tight end in the draft. So best of luck for Ertz, man. I know he loved Philadelphia, but you know when you start aging, that's that's the NFL. They treat you wrong. Tom Brady end up going to another team. We already know how they treat aging players in the NFL, so it happens. All right, so I want to talk Tua. I recently put out a video about Tua saying they should not, the Miami, Dolph- the Miami Dolphins should not trade Tua, which a rumor came out that they will not be trading him. They will work long term with him. I believe that's the that's the best thing to do. You got him in the first round. It was his rookie year. And like I said in the video, it was his rookie year. You got to give him year two, year three. Imagine if, if the Houston Texans gave up on Deshaun Watson or uh, Bills would have gave up on Josh Allen. So you, you got to give these, time, these guys time to develop. Just put more and more pieces around them. I believe... They are in the top 10 pick, get a receiver, even somebody on defense, whatever can help the team win. And I believe to it, he's the piece. He's the piece to help this team win. I still think they should get rid of Brian Fitzpatrick because any little mistake he makes, they're ready to sub him. Gotta stick with your guy. You have to stick with your guy. All right, so I want to talk some 49ers, um, Jimmy G. They basically saying it's a big swing um, for the 49ers to let him go. It's basically, to sum that up, it's either Deshaun Watson or Jimmy G is staying. They're not going for Carson Wentz. They're not. They probably not even going for Russell Wilson. They're not going for anybody else, but they want Deshaun Watson. It's either him or Jimmy G is staying. I like Jimmy G, but... Can he stay healthy? Um, He's too inconsistent sometimes. But if you get the right pieces around him, he can literally take you to the Super Bowl. That's exactly what he did. But this season, he just couldn't stay healthy. 
and you see without a healthy Jimmy G, even some games he played, he played horrible, but without a healthy Jimmy G, healthy defense, um, there was a lot of injuries on the 49ers and they wasn't a playoff team. So if the team could stay healthy, get pieces around them, he can lead a team far. He just, to me, not a game changer at all. He's not he's a very good game manager that can literally lead your team to the Super Bowl. So I believe 49ers are doing the right thing. Is he the go high or just leave it at that don't go for anybody else they they doing the right thing all right and lastly i want to talk uh i see odell beckham put something out there like people are forgetting who he is um i'm definitely not um it just depends to me if he's staying with the browns that's the question if he's staying with the browns he has to know the browns are a run first team um you've seen when he got hurt they literally went to kareem hunt and Nick Chubb, it's their team. It's not the Baker Mayfield, Odell Beckham show. He, um, Baker Mayfield is just not that quarterback. He's not that quarterback that can sling it um, too much because if he do, he's going to make mistakes. But if you could get him at play action or if the run game is going, he could lead your team far. He could. But I know he want to give Odell his touches because – how the media come at Odell? Oh, you didn't get over a thousand yards. Oh, you didn't do this. You didn't do that. Odell is washed, and you don't want to see a superstar going through that. So to me, the best thing to do is just trade Odell for the best of him. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they go into next season and use him correctly. Um, maybe he get his thousand yards. Maybe not. But I just want Odell to know that. When I watch the Browns, I see a two-headed monster in the backfield. I see play action can work. The run game can work. But he just have to know it has to start with that two-headed monster in the backfield before he even touched the ball. It's not Odell's team. This is not the New York Giants. They have two running backs that can start for probably any team in the NFL. Probably almost any team for the NFL. But what Besides what the Titans, maybe the Colts. Um, so I could see Kareem Hunt almost going anywhere and starting. Obviously, Nick Chubb, I could see him going almost anywhere and starting. Just that Odell has to know it's a running team first. Or Kevin Stefanski has to let him know this is a running team first. But, yeah, that's all the updates I've been seeing. Just wrapping it up. Um, salute to y'all. I see a lot of subscribers are coming in. I think right now I'm at 560 last time I checked. So thank y'all, man. Just keep subscribing, keep liking the content. And um, yeah, what do you think and how do you feel about the NFL updates? And you know, NFL is obviously over right now. Anything I see, I'll just go over it. So it's just a lot of rumors. Obviously, games not going on, the draft is coming up. Maybe I'll talk about the draft one of these days. I don't know. But this is Alcabeta Analyst. Ghost.